Exactly right, Heidi. The Pima County Board of Supervisors unanimously approving that new lease, signaling a rebirth of old Tucson Studios. Commissioner Steve Christie pushing American Heritage Railways to bring back filmmaking here to old Tucson and to Tucson. Welcome and uh, please focus and, and uh, enhance our our connection with the film industry. The moment the board unanimously approved the five-year lease, the group from American Heritage Railways was already in motion. Hey, look, the county's done a wonderful job just getting everything together. We were with John Harper, the chief operating officer, as well as other members of his American Heritage Railways team as they entered the old Tucson property as leaseholders. The theme park has been closed since the fall of 2020, a casualty of the pandemic but today was about celebrating its new life. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the new old Tucson. Oh gosh, we're on cloud nine. Yeah. You know, we have a full team here uh, from really like across like, the country and uh, we're, we're, I mean, like I've said multiple times with you, we're gonna hit the ground running and uh, really if you look around, we already have and we have a staff here to show it. It's so unique to be in a place where you have the whole community behind the property, behind the new operators, and looking to really make a successful property and looking to expand. Harper says the goal is to have Old Tucson Studios reopen to the public this fall. They have big plans for improvements and events, but also they'll be bringing hundreds of jobs back to the Tucson economy. Lots of jobs, yeah. We're, we're actually have already started the hiring process. Uh, we've gone through uh, we had uh, just over a hundred different applicants for our general manager position and uh, we've narrowed it down to a couple and we're actually doing those interviews this week. Uh, and then once that position is hired, we're, we have a list to roll out. Uh, Harper tells me they actually have filmmakers and production companies talking to them about using old Tucson studios, which of course could bring even more jobs to the Tucson economy. Now that the new leaseholder has been named, many want to know exactly when American Heritage Railways will reopen old Tucson. Well, it'll be open to the public this fall in time for that Tucson favorite nightfall. This year, so get ready. Uh, You'll see materials come out in the next like couple months and really we're diving into planning right now. We have a production manager, a director of production on site and uh, we're actually going to start the layout process right now. And Harper says they'll hire over 100 people for this new and improved nightfall. Well, the state is hoping to attract uh, people, of course, producers, movie makers, TV shows right here to the state of Arizona and they would give them up to $150 million in state tax credits. That was passed, of course, in the state Senate back in February. So where does this bill go from here? Well, the bill still needs to be approved in the House, but there is still no date for the final approval. After that, it'll be sent back to the Senate where it'll make several stops, including rules and caucuses before being signed into law, perhaps. Since it's related to taxes, it'll likely be discussed alongside of the budget.